Me I Am Juan, and you can be whoever you want to be. So this is another one of my Me I Am Drag videos, and today my guest is Jezebel. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, from the house uh, of Fontaine. From the house of Lee Fontaine, you are absolutely <laughs> correct. Madison. I'm sure that Cynthia will love that. <laughs> that plug. <laughs> that plug, and I'm sure she will love me just flying onto a bed. That's what I'm good at. Flopping is a better word. <laughs> now, you know I haven't flopped since I was a bottom, so I don't know what you're talking about, girl. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> All right, so we have Me I Am Drag again with Jezebel Lee. You look gorgeous. Thank for you. One. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I showered today. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> So tell me about Jezebel. So where did she first, where was she born? I'll start like this. Um, I have a famous drag mother. Okay. Um, and my, my drag mom is Cynthia Lee Fontaine, who I adore dearly. Really, Cynthia, um, who I knew as Carlos, we worked together in HIV prevention. Um, he really introduced me to the drag community here in Austin. He's my gatekeeper. I want to say I quote unquote started doing drag about two years ago for um, season seven of RuPaul's Best Friend Race uh -huh. um, with <laughs> this one right here uh, from the House of Moment, right. Miss Anita Moment. May she rest in peace. Girl, <laughs> I'm hoping that we have a, a resurrection. I need a resurrection is what we need. <laughs> um, and but but that was really um, if you look at pictures of us from two years ago. Yeah, girl. I mean, Thank don't you. get me wrong. My body was still right. My legs were uh, still everything. Yeah, but it was were. literally just like I put on lipstick, mascara, and like blush. Yeah. And like that was it. And look so, at you now. And look at me now. You know, more subtle, more subtle makeup. Now I now I wear um, just a hint of eyeliner, and that's it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. This is my natural lip color. Oh right, right, right. Mm -hmm. I ate some uh, poison mushrooms. So, you know, <laughs> really brings out the blue, the blue green. So where did you get the name Jezebel from? So funny story. Um, so I love biblical names. Um, I went. To, oh, a fun fact about me. I know. I really. I love biblical names. Okay. Um, uh, so I went to Christian school. So I was very studied in in the in the ways of the of the Christians of, of the, the Christianity Lord. of yeah. the Lord. Um, <laughs> And I was kind of a big whore while I was there too. So I thought that it was appropriate to be named after the biblical whore herself, Queen Jezebel. Word. So that is where huh. my name comes from. So there you go. I didn't know that. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Whore in and out of drag. Mm, in and out of drag. It's, <laughs> it's true. true. <laughs> it's true. I, um, I, oh, girl. So tell me a little bit more about your drag. So the connection between Jezebel and then this. I want to say three, three, um, three main points. Mm -hmm. um, so the first is the 1920s and the 1940s. Nice. Um, I love the, the women's fashion of the 1920s and the 1940s, um, even though they are actually very different. Second is um, leather, um, dominatrix, kind of fetish uh, clothing. And then the last one is um, burlesque. I, I really love burlesque. And then what about your performances? What kind of songs do you typically perform? Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, so, I, I first off, I am a lot more of a, a comedy queen, if you will, <laughs> than Same. a performing queen. Girl, you calling yourself a comedy queen is the joke. I'm that's a 1080p about, queen now. That. <laughs> I'm an HD queen, it's true. So, the, the thing is, is that um, I, I got my start hosting. So I, I'm a hosting queen. I play off of other people a lot more than I just perform. But um, if I do perform, um, I like very sultry songs. I also really enjoy rap songs. Very nice. Or um, R&B, things like that. And I've so, seen yeah. you perform and you do have sex appeal into all of it. BDSM, leather, I love it all. And the comedy as well. Your, what was her name, that one? White girl, the mess, the racist white girl that you did for drag class. What was her name? Oh, oh, um, Darlene. 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 Mm -hmm. Darlene. I thought you were talking about an actual person. I was like, girl, I don't oh, no, know. No. I was like, who are we calling out on YouTube? <laughs> no. I'm about it. Like, I'll do it. Just who are we calling out? Who are we calling out? Uh, yeah, no, uh, 
Darlene McBride. I did, um, the name. I reproduced um, an old skit from, uh, I want to say that was the 90s or early 2000s from Mad TV, mm -hmm. and remodified it to fit current political settings. And what's funny is that racism and, like, really rightly conservative people haven't really changed. They're still kind of awful. They're out there. Um, and, you know, now they just have a president in the White House that gets to mm -hmm. speak what they think. Um, so making that funny was just easy, because it's like, oh, ha, this is... This is actually what they've been saying for 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, well, thank you for coming on here. You. I'm sure Jezebel's come on. Or is gonna come on. I am. Thank I'm you for coming on. Yeah. I'm sure Jezebel has come. <laughs> thank you for coming on. I'm sure Jezebel is gonna come on in the future at some point. And I'm excited to see where you take your drag and we'll see what happens at drag class. Thank you so much. Um, to all of you out there, have, have fun. Get into drag. It's a blast. Bye.